so now let's try to convert fractions in a happy fraction song. I'm Kirsten Buck and I'm a sixth grade math teacher at Olmsted South. What is a variable? What's the definition? And some kids were giving me definitions and one of them bursts out singing um, into the unknown because the new Frozen 2 had just come out. So I guess she'd just seen it. We were talking about a variable's an unknown and she burst out into that. I was like, you know, that would make, that would fit. That would make a good song parody. Do you want to collect data? Then mom will find the mean. That's where the idea came from. This is how I grew up learning a lot of things too. We watched Schoolhouse Rock all the time and I would remember things a lot better in song. So oftentimes, anytime we were starting a new concept to introduce it, I would go on YouTube and like search forever for different songs. Multiply or divide. I love Disney. And so I just decided I'm gonna take all of my favorite Disney songs and choose different math topics. You got seven right in a row, good job. And then once we started doing NCI and I had a lot more engagement with my students checking in and watching them on Google Classroom, I started trying to make them about the topics that they were going to be doing on the choice boards, as well as they would um, give me requests for songs. So <laughs> they were like, Look, do the one for Moana. Now do the other one for Moana. I did um, Beauty and the Beast and made it about inequalities because I was like, oh, Beauty and the Beast and inequalities have the same number of syllables. And so that's really the base of it. I just count the number number of syllables. Hopefully if I can make something as catchy, they'll get those lyrics stuck in their head. And if nothing else, they'll use those to figure things out. Four. Disney songs, a lot of kids like myself, we, we watched Disney and grew up with that. So the tunes are familiar and putting anything to music to make it catchy and repetitive, something that can get stuck in your head will help gain an understanding of any concept, really. Five times two is ten. 